But first tonight, we're hearing from the embattled director of the state's Department of Children, Youth and Families after news broke today that she's stepping down. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Steve Nielsen. Director Trista Pacola has been at the helm of the DCYF since 2017 and is expected to leave in the coming months once her successor is selected. Her time as director has been marred by controversy, most recently the death of a nine-year-old girl in Warwick. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us with reaction to Pacola's announcement and what Pacola is saying about her decision to leave. Kim? Well, Shannon and Steve, Pacola says it's just that, her decision to leave. And she says it's based on her husband getting a new job in Arizona, not a vote of no confidence in her or the calls for her resignation that both came in just the last several months. DCYF director Trista Pacola is stepping down, leaving the agency and Rhode Island, moving to Arizona with her family. Absent this, this move to Arizona, I would still be here um, working hard to help implement those reforms. And I'm happy to be here over the next several months so that we can have a good transition in place um, for the next director. Pacola's two and a half years at DCYF have been turbulent. The high profile deaths of two children placed in homes by the agency left lasting moments marks on her tenure. She's got thick skin or she wouldn't have ha asked for that job in the first place. And, um, you know, is she perfect? Absolutely not. We've had worse. Kathy McElroy's union represents workers in several departments at DCYF. In January, they voted no confidence in Pecola. It was the same month a nine-year-old Warwick girl was found dead in her adoptive mother's home. The girl and seven other disabled children had been placed there by DCYF. Then, just last month, an explosive report by the Child Advocates Office said DCYF contributed to the girl's death, prompting calls for Pecola's resignation from members of the House Oversight Committee, which Representative Patricia Serpa chairs. It, it's a tough job, but it is the most important job. There is zero room for error in DCYF because an error in that agency usually means a tragedy. Neither Serpa nor McElroy blame Pecola for all of the agency's problems. They say whoever replaces her will have their hands full. Let's look at the problems in that department are going to exist, whether it's her or a new director. The, those problems don't go away. Pecola has this advice for her successor. Is to stay the course because the things that we are doing uh, are working. And today, DCYF also announced an independent top to bottom review of the agency. The newly appointed Secretary of Health and Human Services is expected to oversee that review and the search for the new director. Live in Providence tonight, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.